Thanks to Simply Safe for sponsoring this video. What's up, Bargain Family? Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is all about Five Below. You can find some amazing deals at Five Below that range from one dollar to fifteen dollars. The average price point is five dollars. So in this video, I'm going to share with you guys some new items to keep your eyes open for at Five Below, along with some ideas and DIY. When you walk into Five Below right now, the main things you're gonna see are home decor and organizational pieces, mainly organizational bins. They have a bunch of different designs that suit your type of decor. They have ones that look like a wicker appearance. They have plastic bins with a wooden grain on the rim of it, metal wire baskets, and so much more. Another thing you're gonna see a lot of are shelves, specifically floating shelves. This is a super cool product. It's a flip top shelf and it was six dollars so it's a floating shelf that you can put things on top of and you can also store inside of this comes with the screws and drywall anchors you will need if you decide to screw this into your wall I ended up placing my shelf below my medicine cabinet. As expected, the mirror isn't the best quality. However, I still love this shelf. You're able to create more storage on your wall when you don't have a lot of storage options in your bathroom or bedroom. The price point is definitely worth it and it's not something I can make for $6 using Dollar Tree products. My favorite pieces to get at Five Below are the accent tables. These are great for when you need somewhere to put your drinks or have somebody over and you need just an extra table on hand. Maybe you don't want to keep it permanently like a bigger end table that's heavier to move. I got this table for $5 at Five Below. You know me, I love to DIY so we are going to make this look high end. I went to Home Depot and I picked up two of these tile sheets for $3.56. You are going to have a lot of tile left over with one of the sheets. I placed my first sheet on top of the table and I cut off any excess pieces just using scissors. Then I take my second sheet and I cut off pieces to fill in any gaps that need more tile. Since we're using tile, you're going to need some grout. I'm using pre-made grout. The cheapest one that you can get at Home Depot is $5.96, I think. You can also buy the one that you mix yourself. You're just going to end up with a whole lot of grout. The pre-made grout that I bought, you can actually use to adhere the tiles to the table first. However, I decided to use this Gorilla Construction adhesive. I went with this because it dries more quickly than the grout. With the grout, I would have had to wait 24 hours. This, I waited about 30 minutes for it to be completely stuck to the table. I'm not a grout expert. This was actually my first time really using it. I just recommend watching a video and reading the instructions on your grout container. You are going to need a grout float, something to spread the grout on top of the tile. We thought we had one on hand. We did not. So I actually ended up using a piece of Dollar Tree foam board to spread my grout. Once you have your grout down, you need to wipe the grout, not very hard, just kind of lightly using a sponge and you want to wring out most of the water before you place it on top of the table. And then you just glide it over to start cleaning the grout off of the tile. And then you have to wait either 24 to 48 hours, it just depends on the grout that you use to dry. Five Below has this cotton jute round rug for $5. If you try to make this using the rope from Dollar Tree now, you're going to pay way more than $5. You can just buy it already made and I think it pairs really well with the table we just DIY'd. This table came out so gorgeous. I actually really want to make another one and use them outside during the summertime. I absolutely love it. And like I said, I have a bunch of leftover grout and tile that I can use for other projects. For this golden white one, I have a very easy hack. What you can do is get some marble contact paper. I actually got this one from Home Depot. And what you'll do is you'll trace the top of the table on top of the contact paper. And after you trace it, you're going to cut a little bit underneath the circle that you trace so that it fits perfectly inside of the table. Then peel the plastic backing off of your contact paper and then place the paper on top of your table. And if you're really into the whole glam look, Five Below has this white fur rug that you can get and it's a decent size for $10. You can pair that with this table. I love the way that this turned out. It definitely looks more high end this way with that marble contact paper. Do not skip the electronic section because there are some amazing bathroom finds there. I ended up getting this toothbrush holder and soap dispenser that lights up and they are so cool. We don't have a nightlight or anything inside of our hallway and bathroom. What's really cool about these is their motion detection 
protected. So in the dark, when you pass by them, they light up and it's really, really cool. Okay, so I ended up getting the LED faucet attachment and basically you twist it onto your faucet like so and then the water power makes it light up. So I actually had some friends over recently and they were commenting about how fancy my bathroom is and I'm thinking, yeah, it was five below. It is so cool. Let me tell you guys, it's definitely a conversation starter and it's just funny because the conversation starts in the bathroom. They also have this little piece that you can submerge underwater and it makes like your bathtub and sink glow. If you are a crafter and have a decent sized craft stash, make sure you check out the pegboards that Five Below carries. They have a black one and an unfinished wood one. And the great thing about these is is that they're only five dollars but provide a lot of storage space there's two hooks on the back and that's what you use to hang them on your wall now these are great for crafting as you can see you can place paints on top of here there's little pegs that pop out that you can hang ribbon on top of scissors off of there's little shelves to place other items like containers where you can put markers and pens you can even use this to store makeup or spices it's a great price at this price point and i most definitely cannot make this for less than five dollars using dollar tree products if you're somebody who's more visual and likes to see everything all laid out this is a great option for you and now about our sponsor for this video simply safe Simply Safe is serious home security made simpler. All the protection, but with none of the hassle or expenses of old school brands. Your system ships directly to your door and can be set up in around 30 minutes. There's no need to schedule a service appointment or wait around for a technician to show up. Once you set up your system, your home will be protected 24 seven by Simply Safe's professional monitoring service. Everything is so easy to install. It took us only 20 minutes to install our entire system, which includes door and window sensors, carbon monoxide and smoke detectors I can see both the outside and inside of my home on the app and it's so easy to do the indoor camera is one of my favorite pieces of equipment if I have to walk away from my child for just a moment I can still see him on my simply safe app even though I'm not in the same room as him another one of my favorite equipment pieces is the new wireless outdoor security camera it has 1080 PhD resolution color night vision a built-in spotlight and an ultra white 140 degree field of view it's easy to set up all we had to do was drill the camera base outside our home and place the camera right onto the base from my own personal experiences in the past with car theft and home burglaries, I knew when I had a home of my own, keeping my family and I safe would be a top priority for me. Having Simply Safe has given me the peace of mind I need to sleep better at night. My home is protected 24/7 by Simply Safe's professional monitoring service, ready to dispatch police or firefighters in case of emergency. Save 20% on your Simply Safe security system when you sign up for an interactive monitoring plan and get your first month free. Visit simplysafe.com slash bargainbethany to learn more. Again, thank you to Simply Safe for sponsoring this video. This is a great find at Five Below. It is a 36 inch shelf that is $8. I wanted to share with you guys a few different options for this so I ended up using command strips to put this on my wall inside of the kitchen because I needed to move it to a different area so I didn't want to permanently put it inside of my kitchen quite yet. If you buy this shelf I highly recommend using the screws that it comes with and not command strips. Command strips are good for temporarily hanging this up but in the long run you want to use something that's really just going to keep this shelf secured on the wall. So if you use it in a kitchen you can use it to store food on top of containers spices mugs this is why it's very important to use the screws because if you're going to add a lot of weight on this you want it to really be secured to your wall and this is another example of taking advantage of your wall and creating more storage if you put a bunch of these inside of your kitchen you will have multiple shelves to add whatever you want on top of there you can just also use this as just a decorative piece which i love to use floating shelves as just an area to decorate on top of so i ended up moving the shelf to my living room and i placed it below one of my pictures and then just add some decorative pieces around the shelf and it looks gorgeous at eight dollars this is another great price point and it would cost me more than eight dollars to make something like this using dollar tree products 
I'm really excited about this piece I picked up at Five Below. It is a three pocket organizer and there are suction cups on the back which makes it perfect to put on a mirror and I think I can make it work on my tile and that's where I want to put it. I really do love this. I think I'm going to have to put a command strip on mine but I think this is great for small bathrooms if you do not have drawers in your bathroom to put a lot of makeup supplies or if you have a vanity but not a lot of space to put things. I think this is a great little add-on. I have one more makeup brush holder to try out. This can hold up to 20 brushes and there are four suction cups on the back. There are bigger spaces that are for thicker handles and then there are smaller spaces that are for thinner handles and then I got some like really thin ones and there's these pieces that pop out that I'm sure the thinner thinner ones can go between. I like the way that this suction makeup brush organizer visually looks, but the suction cups over here, I like how functional those are. This one, you do have to pull it out and then push it back in every single time you use a brush. This one, you just stick it in, pull it out. I purchased this two-tier rolling cart from Five Below for $10, which is a great price. And there's no way I would be able to make this, period, using Dollar Tree products. I don't even know where to begin. Now, I ended up spray painting mine a light pink color, and I wanted to share with you guys how you can kind of organize on top of this. Five Below has these $1 bins. They fit really nicely inside of this. You can get mini storage bins. I actually picked up this five pack for $4.99 at Marshalls. And with the price increase from Dollar Tree, the sad part is it's cheaper for me to get these at Marshalls versus Dollar Tree. Obviously, you can put whatever you want inside of your rolling cart. I did kind of a mixture of some makeup products and crafting products just to give you guys an idea. Obviously, I think I would stick with all crafting or all makeup, but it just depends on your situation and what you want. You can even use this inside of a bathroom to hold toilet paper or maybe hold extra shampoos, cleaning supplies as long as your child cannot get to it. It's a great piece at just $10, and I love the way that it looked after I spray painted it pink. Sometimes Michaels has these on sale, and you can get them for a relatively good price. At Five Below right now, you can find this two-tier fabric storage shelf. Now, the worst thing about this is the setup for sure. It's not the hardest thing to set up, but it's definitely annoying because there's so many pieces. However, I really wanted this for my closet. We have an over-the-door shoe organizer we actually got from Five Below, and this doesn't really hold boots, so our boots are just kind of thrown around Cooper's car seat, and I really want to get that sorted out and not have them be thrown on his car seat so I'm going to use this shoe organizer to actually place Cooper's car seat on top of now this doesn't fit the way it should fit inside of my closet so I did it where the longer way is facing toward the door and then I just go ahead and place Cooper's car seat on top of it and now I have space on the side of the shoe organizer underneath the organizer and then on the shelf of it to place boots where before like I said they were just going around Cooper's car seat it doesn't look the nicest I'll tell you that it's not like everything matches and it flows nicely but it's very convenient another thing that's from five below that I have in my closet is actually this six shelf hanging organizer and I really like this for our closet because I'm able to put all of these tiny things that belong to Cooper like his little shoes his mittens his hats we are able to put some of our stuff so our flip-flops are actually mainly inside of there right now because we're not using them since it's winter time I used Dollar Tree collapsible storage containers inside of this and that's how I'm getting all of these things to stay in without falling out I really really recommend this product if you're looking for something to hold tiny little things inside of your closet closet. They also have this hanging organizer and this one is different from the previous two you saw and even the shoe organizer. The slots are a little bit bigger and it's not as long but this one is good if you have a bathroom that doesn't have under the sink storage and all you have is just a sink. You place it on the back of your door and use it to hold extra shampoos, cleaning products, things of that nature or you can also use it for crafting if you have some Cricut items you can place vinyl at the top they don't really go well in the middle um, little slots they kind of fall over there but you can put random Cricut pieces or just 
color pencils, whatever you like. There's so many uses for this and I highly recommend it. Lastly, this doesn't have to do with organization, but I really need to shout out the five below t-shirt section. I talked about this so many times. For $5, you get the most awesome graphic shirts. And these graphic shirts, they have the same prints inside of Kohl's, Walmart, Target, and it's more than five dollars even like i said compared to walmart walmart's average price for a graphic t-shirt that is licensed is seven dollars and 88 cents for five dollars you get the exact same t-shirt at five below i always find the coolest prints i found my little pony there i found charlie brown um just everything that i grew up with i've seen even arthur there was like a dw fist shirt i love it so that's it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you do, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed yet to my YouTube channel, make sure you subscribe. I'm really close to hitting a million subscribers. With that being said, I'm going to let you guys go. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye.